In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. In the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Now and forevermore, Amen. Brethren, this is identification of the Godman's cha YouTube channel. I am True Christ Witness, A.B. Christopher, here in Uganda once again of the Brotherhood of the Cross of Star to present unto you a topic, Total Surrender to the Almighty God. What we are going to discuss today is total surrender to the will of God. And that is what we have for you today. If you have subscribed to this YouTube channel before, you are blessed. But if this is your first time of coming to see this, uh, across this channel, you subscribe and get more videos for your information or more information. This is a channel that will direct you to know your Creator, the presence of God on earth, spiritually and physically. And this is also a channel to inform you that the long expected kingdom of God, brother will of the cross and star is now on earth. Now let us come to our topic, total surrender to God. The problem of man is that we have not surrendered totally to our creator. We have not returned totally to him. We have not been truthful to him. We have not been faithful to him. We have not been steadfast to him. So today, our discussion is to guide us that once we need happiness, we need joy, we need peace, then we must totally surrender to our Creator. If we surrender totally to him, he takes dominion over all our activities. He took dominion over our life. But if we do not surrender totally to him, we still have a long way to go. Because one who is not perfected in love must experience so many difficulties and predicaments. And uh, today, people attribute all these things to the witches, wizards, enemies, Satan, demons, and so on. It is not so. God who created heaven and earth needs our total surrender to him, that we must be committed to worship him. We must be committed to the fear of God. Though everybody continue to make a statement that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom, then how do we fear him if we do not surrender totally to him? So we have to surrender totally to his will, that we should allow his will alone to be done in our life, wherever we are. Total surrender in faith, faithfulness, truthfulness, purity, holiness, righteousness, that we must be perfected in all these areas. We must surrender totally to his will. We must not dance to our dictates. We must not listen to the will of man. We must not listen to angels. Rather, we should totally surrender to our Creator. The God who created us has given us things to do and things not to do. So if we are against His commandments, we are against His will, then we are bound to see a lot of changes or difference or predicaments and problems here and there. So. We are now coming to advise all the children of God on earth. Whether you are a Muslim, whether you are a Christian, a Buddha, or Hindus, or a Krishna, is not a problem. Where you worship your God is not a problem. The religion you belong is not a problem. Whether you belong to any religion or not, we have to surrender totally to God, to enjoy the fruits of his kingdom. Because God has brought his kingdom to mankind. It is left for us to enjoy the kingdom. We have to rejoice with him. But those who are going to be with him, those who are going to reign with him, those who are going to inherit the kingdom of God and all good things in life, the new heaven and the new earth, the new Jerusalem, the new city, the holy city, we must surrender totally to him. Because without total surrender, we cannot worship him in spirit and in truth. Therefore, our worship should be totally committed to God. We should recognize his presence. We should recognize his existence. We should believe in him. We should put our faith in him, our trust in him. All our hope should be in him. By so doing, we have surrendered totally and continue to allow his will to be done in our life. And we shall rejoice with him, and have happiness, joy, peace, and harmony. All the good things we are looking for come from the Most High God. So total surrender to God is paramount in every forms of worship. And as many that know the Father, as many that want to be with the Father, reign with the Father, must have this commitment, must have this consciousness 
that we are strangers on earth and we are under a supernatural kingdom. That is a government that we do not see with our physical eyes is governing the entire world. But today we are able to get the revelations. That is God has revealed himself to us by establishing his kingdom here on earth to guide us, to lead us to the accurate knowledge of truth. And that will also enable us to surrender totally to him. Because he said, when we know the truth, the truth has set us free. And in days of ignorance, God overlooked. That is, as of Apostles chapter 17, verse 30, he said, the days of ignorance, God overlooked. But now he has appointed a man who is supreme judge over the universe. He's also said in John chapter 8, verse 32, that when you know the truth, the truth has set you free. And according to the Gospel of John chapter 4, verse 21 to 24, he also told us that God is a spirit, and all those who want to worship him must do so in spirit and in truth. So our total commitment, total surrender, all everything about us will be surrendered totally to God, and he will come into our life and take dominion, and he shall perfect everything. And from that time we have joy, peace, and harmony. And nobody will blame Satan, nobody will blame witches or wizards, that these are the problems or the, 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 the things behind our problem. No. Once we believe in God, surrender to him, have faith in him, all is perfectly well. And that is the information we are giving you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for viewing and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos and information now and forevermore. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ, now and forevermore. Remain blessed. God bless you all.